Well, this mid-ICO pack, hopefully, is going to be pretty good. Fingers crossed. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description. And use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. We'll see. We'll see what we get. Hopefully, it's not a dupe. That's all I care about. If it's not a dupe, then we're loving life. At the end of the day, if it's not a dupe, go on. It's going to be Spanish. Center forward. It's Raul. That's actually... I don't think that's too bad. Honestly, I don't think that's too bad at all. Um, 86 pace, 88 dribbling, 86 shooting. Value-wise, not great, but it's not a terrible card. I'll be honest with you, though. Only use this card's getting is is probably in like an icon swap or or like a a series or something like that. I don't think this is getting much use in my team in the weekend league. How much is this card actually worth? Um, I want to say about 400k roughly. Is that what we're saying? 320k. Oh, no. Middle prime, I could play a pick here. Uh, the, the dream here is a big boy CDM, like a, a Vieira or Hullet or something, um, as it gel the whole team together, or a big center back, like a Maldini, someone like that. I also think, like, you know, obviously an R9, Ronaldo, Cruyff, Eusebio, etc. would be fantastic. Come on. <laughs> EA. What are we getting in this prime or mid icon player pick? Here we go. It's going to be Eto. That's class. That is class. Saved by the Eto. Because when I saw Van Nistelrooy, I got kind of I got kind of scared. When I saw Village, I got very scared. But seeing Eto at the end, that's class, man. That is a really, really good player pick. That card is fantastic in game and a really, really good card to get. And I think worth still like double the amount, I think, um, of the actual player pick himself. I think he's picking it, so I don't want to pick it for him yet. 2.2 million coins. Phenomenal. I personally would go Eto here over Vidic. Um, if it was Prime Village, that'd be a hard decision, but Eto is the one, man. Eto is the one there. Mate, he scared me. Oh my god, I actually had a heart attack. I thought he was about to take that. Woo! Good pull, good pull. Another middle Prime Icon player pick. Alright. Here we go. Come on, EA. Yep. That's deserved. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't blame you for doing that, to be honest. I don't blame you at all. Another primal mid icon player pick boys. Here we go. Come on. R9 Ronaldo, Hullet, Cruyff. Someone like that would be huge. Cruyff 91. Let's go. Come on. Big dub right there. 91 Cruyff. If Cruyff wasn't there, that would have been so bad. Whew. If Cruyff was not in that player pick right there, that would have been awful. Saved by 91 Cruyff, which is just an absolutely unbelievable card as well. Five star, five star insanity. So we absolutely love to see that right there. We're going to go ahead and take pri uh, sorry, mid Cruyff, not prime Cruyff, mid Cruyff, 91 Cruyff. That's fantastic. I think he's worth still about 4 million coins. So we love to see it. He wants a big prime icon CB here. However, also, hey, I mean, there could be, you know, a, a Prime R9 would be very much appreciated as well. Here we go. What are we getting here, EA? Come on. I, all right. In terms of value, these are not, not wins in any way, shape, or form. I think the only, the only thing that I think is a saving grace is, in my opinion... You've got three cards that you could use in a team. I think Sanchez is usable. I think Suku is usable. And I think Nedved is also usable. The issue is, is that none of them are worth anywhere close to the value of the icon pick. Um, if it were me, I think I'd probably choose Suka over Sanchez just based on my play style. I like the taller, uh, stronger players. But Sanchez, I've heard really good things about uh, in terms of his agility and balance and his finishing and things like that. His really good stats. That is unfortunate. That is very much unfortunate. Um, oh wait, Sanchez is a million coins. Oh wait, is Sanchez actually a million coins? Oh my fault. I didn't realize he was a million coins. He is a million coins. So I guess you kind of you kind of break even a little bit there. I guess it's not the end of the world to be fair for that Sanchez card. Another middle prime player pick. What are we getting in this one? Oh my god! All right, just before this, I wasn't recording, but I said a 
mid Ronaldinho or a Garincha would be huge. And we've gone and got both of them. I literally called it. The stream, no. I'm just checking something as well because we're doing a prediction on the stream. Zola's ex Chelsea, as I thought. So there you go. Mods, pay out, pay out for ex Chelsea. Oh my word. I literally called it as well. I said Garincha and Dino. I think Dino's the play here. I think you have to take mid Dino. But it's a hard one because, like, he needs a. Well, he doesn't need a right winger, but a right winger would be huge. However, this mid run Dino card is worth in excess of 3.2 million coins. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. The, the, the win of all wins when it comes down to Brazilian icons. All you need there is an R9 and it'd be insane, right? But that's fantastic. That is, that is huge. He's picking Dino, I think, here. I think this is the right choice. I got my first elite of the, week, of the year with mid Dino at Cam. He is incredible and mid Dino is the choice. There you go. Mid Ica pack for Mike. Come on. Can we get something good here, please? What are we getting for Mike? Oh my god. Here we go, EA. Prime Dino would be just perfect here, I feel like. But we'll open it and see what we get. I think... Here's the thing, right? I think that Prime Sadorf is really good. Personally, I think that I think that's really good. However, a lot of people disagree, but I think that's good. You've got... I think that's the first one I've seen where it's three prime icons. It's a hard choice. I think it's a hard choice. I think I go Sadorf, but I also he's using Kante in the squad at the moment. And from what I've been told, Prime Makalele is like Kante on steroids. So, yeah, I suppose it's quite a, a, a tricky scenario. It's quite a tricky, difficult one to, to pick. Um, but we do have a perfect link in there as well. I'd probably go Sadorf, but Makalele is also a good shout. I'm going to leave you to pick it though, bro. Another prime or mid icon player pick. What are we saying here, EA? Come on. Can we get... Can we get our first R9 of the player picks? Yet to see an R9 before. Will it be this one? Essien's not bad. Prime Crespo is an okay player, but... Eesh. Essien's all right. This is not bad, but it's not great, is it? It's not great at all. Not great at all. All right, here we go for Fozan. Can we get Fozan someone good? Oh, Puskas! Oh, mate, I saw I saw Rivaldo and Koch and I was like, and then we got Puskas. Big win. Puskas is fantastic. I'm not even going to lie, right? Prime Okocha is genuinely not bad. The issue is, is that these cards are, are priced not great, right? So Puskas is only 2.2 million coins. So, you know, he's a massive win. You look at Rivaldo and you look at Okocha and they genuinely don't have garbage stats. It's just their prices are super low. And, and it, unfortunately, it also, you know, makes them less desirable. But I think Okocha is not bad. I think Puskas, uh, uh, sorry, I think Rivaldo is not bad. But obviously Puskas is fantastic and you take Puskas, obviously. Another icon player pick. Two Zolas and a best. Like, don't get me wrong, right? I think that, I think that Prime Zola is all right. And I think that best is all right as well. But the fact you can get two of the same icon, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Um, best has got to be the choice there, in my opinion. I think best is 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 the best option there. No pun intended. Um, I do find it mad that you can get two of the same icon in a single player pick. That's so, like, that just seems so strange to me. Mid icon pack now. Go on. R9, Dino, Hullet, Maldini, Vieira, any of the above. You know, Puskas, or, or, or Hierro, or Puyol. Uh, oh, that is... You don't want Spain because that's just Spain without the S right there. Yet another Prime Moment Icon player pick. What are we getting in this one, EA? Come on. 
going to be? Oh, Matthias! No way! Oh, my word. That's huge. Mate, that's actually a sick player pick. How much is Matthias actually worth here? Three million coins. That is such an incredible... And the thing is as well, he needed a midfielder. He needed a solid midfielder. I think he's taking the controller back to pick uh, the card himself, I'd assume. That is fantastic, man. That is fantastic. I won't pick for you. Don't worry. I just think that that's, that is huge, man. So he's got Ian Rush, best Matthias. Matthias has got to be the choice there. That is absolutely phenomenal. And he needs a midfielder as well because he put Kimmage into it. So fantastic. Hopefully we get enough fodder in this so he can just do the icon player pick. I think, I think he should get enough fodder plus 400k to be able to just do the icon player pick, I think. Um, that's what I'd imagine. KDB is a fantastic start in an 85 plus. That's about 100. If he's as, as much as a normal um, 91, that's about 140k. And to Stegen and Harry Kane, 150k in 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 KDB, an extra 100k in to Stegen. I have no idea what Harry Kane's worth, but that is quality. That is absolutely quality. All right, 81 plus and 82 plus now as well. To Stegen, 120k apparently. And uh, KDB 150k, that's solid. And what if player in the 81 plus now is going to be in Babu? No way. Oh my word. Ryan has got a red list count. Ryan is on the red list in Babu. 500k player right there. Oh my word. K cheeky little Kalor Navas. Not bad. We'll take that. That is a fantastic again. Uh, just some 83s and 82s. I'll imagine a lot of these are untradeable as well. Um, which is, uh, you know, meh, just discards really. Um, all right, 82 plus now. Come on, give us some more fodder. He wants the Nikon player pick, so give us some more fodder. Come on. What are we saying? It is a inform, I think, or is that a UEL? No, it's an inform. Haller, we'll take that, not bad. Haller is nice. Haller is very nice. Um, 84, 8 inform. Any other fodder in there? Di Maria, Insigne, Pizzi, solid, solid, solid. Uh, and another Harry Kane. Well, he's going to he's gonna recover the other Harry Kane. So he's got two Harry Kane's to recover now. Uh, Prime Gaming Pack and a Rare Mega Pack as well. Let's see. Prime Gaming Pack now is going to be non-walkout in the prelim, which is fine. If the player pick is where you want something good. Player pick is where you want something really good. Here we go. Maybe the, maybe the pack looks run out. Maybe the pack look has run out. Would not surprise me. And for the rare mega pack to end it off, will we get a walkout in a rare mega 55k pack? No. Yikes. Ryan's player pick now. What are we getting? Ooh, Burkamp, Baresi, Barnes. I saw Burkamp and I thought that was good. Um, I don't think that's great, to be honest. I don't think, I don't think either of those are very good at all. I think all of them are worth not a lot of coins. Ah, uh, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Middle prime icon now for Bradley. Come on, Bradley. Come on. Grincha, we love to see that. That is fantastic. Grincha, Nedved, Balak. I mean, if that was prime Balak, then I guess you've got like a debate on your hands there. If that was prime Balak. But with mid Balak... I just, I think mid Balak, unfortunately, lets that down a little bit. Uh, mid Nedved, on the other hand, is, be I think, better than the Prime in, in some regard. And then Gadincha is also very, very nice. So, that's solid, man. That is really, really good. I'm going to leave you to pick that. Another one. Come on. Be, be as good, if not better, than Gadincha. Oh, I tell you what. That's actually quite a hard choice. Prime Cannavaro is a top tier quality center back you can use for the rest of the game. Mid Lam is also a top tier quality CDM. Again, usable for most of the rest of the game. I'd say when Team of the Season comes around, Lam becomes a little bit obsolete as Team of the Season cards will have similar defending, but way better pace and physicals as well. But both are really nice. I personally would go Cannavaro there. Um, but I understand those that would go Lam as well. Because that's a really, really nice, nice pull.